What's up guys, Eric, I'm back out on a bash field with the all new Arma Creighton EXV RTR uh, 6S. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to give it a quick little rip. Uh, first of all, big shout out and thank you to Ryzen for giving me the opportunity to run this truck. I'm not gonna take too long going over the truck. There's other videos out there that go over all the extra little details, but I just wanna show you guys what this truck's capable of, especially box stock straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. Best thing Arma did in my opinion for this new EXB is put in these aluminum diff cases or bulkheads in a beautiful red to match the EXB bling on here. It even has the aluminum sway bar cover right there to keep that sway bar locked in, which is a really nice touch. You got the new V2 Spectrum Firm Electronics in here with the 20. 50 kV motor, which is a workhorse of a motor. It's done really nice in my uh, Big Rock 6S and also this new V2 Firma ESC and also this new Spectrum S665 servo. It does come with a Spectrum DX3 remote, which is a really nice remote, nice spring action in the wheel right there. And the really nice thing about it is it has the throttle limit right there. So if you got kids or beginners, you can adjust the throttle limit from 50 to 75 to 100. It does have a two-piece tower to tower brace in here, which connects right in the center, just like the 8S models. So that's a nice new touch for the 6S. We've also got this newly designed wing mount, which looks really beefy. This thing looks like it could definitely take a, a butt landing with ease. Here's a quick shot of the undercarriage. You got that beautiful skid plate and bumper right there. Don't just bash blast, 775 chassis. You got the Creighton Copperhead 2 tires, which are prevented from the factory, which is awesome. Uh, again, you got the holes on the top of the wheel, on top of the tire, and the wheel inside here is sealed up to keep keep your tire from uh, sucking in water and, and debris. I'm pretty excited to give this sucker a run, especially bone stock to see how she does. Uh, the shocks on it feel really nice. Uh, Arma did a, a nice job of factory tuning these things. They got a little bit thicker oil in them uh, than what we're used to with these RTRs. The diffs, I believe, are 80,000 in the front and rear and 100,000 in the center. Just really impressed by the looks of this truck, all this beautiful red bling in here. And just these uh, red diff cases is just the icing on cake in my opinion. So a uh, big shout out to uh, Arma for their innovation and continuing to uh, please the bastards and listening to them and uh, making every version of the truck that much better. All right, guys, let's give this baby a quick little shakedown run and uh, see what she'll do. The new Spectrum S665 servo is very responsive. It definitely has torque to it. A whole lot better than the uh, previous RTR servo, so pretty impressed. <laughs> Tree almost caught it. Oh. There we go. Guys, this thing has tons of torque for that 2050 kV motor. Definitely gets up and moves. Hey guys, you might notice this thing is super quiet. I mean, it's got a butter smooth drivetrain on it. All right, guys, first jump. Ah, oh, this thing's taking a hammering.
control curb. Floater. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check the temps. I've been going pretty hard on it. Uh, to be stock gearing, uh, I did go to punch seven on the ESC. Let's get a little more kick out of it. But still, everything's just bone stock, and she really moves. I'm really impressed just how fast this thing is. Let me get it ring see it. And I got 93 degrees on the motor. I got 76 on the ESC. That is nothing. These new uh, V2 uh, Firma ESCs run really cool. Even even geared up a little bit. I need a got a wire just about to hit my gear right there, my pinion. You want to always check your wires. I've got them clipped in with a zip tie right here. You want to uh, do that to kind of help uh, put a bite on those wires to hold them in. But sometimes they do move around when you're doing jumps and stuff. So you always want to check your wires. You don't want to get one chewed up in your in your gears. Doing a real quick chassis inspection after those uh, ramp launches and landing out in this gravel. She still looks uh, perfectly straight. So uh, we'll keep on sending it. Handling this thick grass pretty good. That was graceful. Guys, this truck runs like it's on rails and that's no AVC. Guys, going a little more unedited here for a second just to kind of give a little review of the truck again straight out of the box it's, it's really fast definitely has power with the new v2 system wheelies on demand uh the steering servo is very responsive definitely definitely torquey and it will turn on a dime the uh, lsd diffs are a little little different uh, to get used to in a standard RTR diff. It is limited slip in the center and then the front and rear are open with uh, big washers. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the first test of the new Creighton EXP RTR. Uh, again, bone stock straight out of the box, stock gearing, uh, haven't done anything to it, haven't even reinforced the body. It did take a little bit of a crack up there just from some of the hard rolls and stuff. Tower to tower brace is still straight. Haven't broken any arms. Chassis is still straight. Of course, it may look a little distorted because of the GoPro wide lens. Diffs have done really good. The only issue that I did have, uh, which it happened off camera, is I did snap this uh, front drive cup right here. So I put an M2C EXP drive cup on it and it's been holding up perfect. I'm sure it was a fluke or maybe I hit something just right, but I just swapped that out and then I was on my way. Next video, I plan on gearing this thing up a little bit to see what she'll really take. I get a little more speed out of her and get a little more crazy, but it was an awesome first maiden run. This thing is a hoot straight out of the box. It's, again, big shout out to Arma for their constant innovation and bringing us some awesome rigs. Uh, 2023 was an awesome year uh, with lots of uh, really cool trucks and uh, new products. Can't wait to see what 2024 brings. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. RC Dude 81, peace out.